Gloria Moraga. I'm a political woman and I vote. The Deficit Reduction Act. Of course, the first thing I do is lay my arms around. It's historic. It's landmark. Tax, climate, health. That's what this bill does. It's massive. It's great. It's a great first step for climate change. It's a great long-awaited step for health care and pres prescription drug costs. You ever have trouble saying prescription? Prescription drug costs. And here's what it's going to do. It's going to lower some costs for families. It's going to combat the climate crisis. It's going to reduce the deficit. And finally, last but not least, it's going to ask major, large corporations to pay taxes. Not their fair share of taxes, just to pay taxes, period. I am Gloria Braga. This is Political Woman. Do you know that Americans pay two to three times more in prescription drug costs than the rest of the world? How shocking is that? It's pathetic, really. Uh, pharmaceutical companies basically own many Congress members. Apparently, one of the statistics I, I heard was that there are more lobbyists for pharmaceutical companies than there are members of Congress. It's like two or three times more. So they're out there lobbying and they're spending a lot of money. Why? Because it's worth money, because it's worth all the money that they make by overcharging us for prescription drugs. So here's who's going to benefit from this bill. Medicare recipients. Okay, Medicare recipients are gonna see a cap on their healthcare costs how much they have to pay and per year. And if they're on insulin and millions of Americans, older Americans and Americans uh, have diabetes in this country, uh, they're going to see a cap on how much they pay for insulin, which is huge, which is a big step. Now, there was a provision in the bill that would have helped insulin costs for all patients. But guess what? The Republicans fought and got that out. So ask yourself when you're getting ready to vote and everybody needs to register and everybody needs to vote because this is what matters. Things like this, things like getting decent insulin costs to people who need it because it's a life and death situation. So in addition to prescription costs going down for some people, 13 million Americans are going to save an average of $800 per year on their health insurance premiums, and 3 million more Americans will now be able to have and afford health care insurance because of this bill. A bill that was passed, by the way, by Democrats and only Democrats in the House and the Senate. Why? Ask yourself why. Climate. Okay, here's what's going on for climate change and for fighting what's happening right now. And if you're a climate denier, wow, um, all you need to do is <laughs> look out the window, <laughs> watch the news. We're in trouble, people. And we are, uh, for the people who care so much about children, and, and babies, this is where you can put your money where your mouth is and start supporting climate change provisions. So this will, there's money in this bill for solar panels, for wind turbines, and for building grid scale battery plants, which apparently we really need this. And this is going to benefit everybody, homes, businesses, and communities. It's going to be cheaper to buy an electric car. It's going to be cheaper to get solar panels. And this is going to result in the creation of millions of good paying 
energy jobs for Americans. There's also, and this is something that's near and dear to my heart, and it's I live in California, and I grew up in California, and I visit national forests quite a bit. I love the mountains. Um, there's money to protect 2 million acres of national forests, and this, in turn, helps cut down on green gas emissions because we need more trees. Um, and all of these provisions in this bill, are they're going to help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Finally, because this is a short but sweet political woman, there's going to be money to, there's a target for, uh, for big corporations and high income people, okay? Rich people are going to have to pay taxes and pay a lot more taxes than they've been paying. And what we're talking about is people who make more than $400,000 a year. Now, currently, some of these people pay less money or no money, you know, than you or I, you know, are just struggling to make ends meet sometimes. So, um, yeah, that'll be great. Also, there's dozens of corporations who pay zero, zero taxes, and this is going to tax them at a fair rate. And that's where some of the deficit reduction money is going to come from. Yes, this bill is costing money. If you hear these right-wingers talk about this, but it's also earmarked a reduction in the deficit, which we all agree is good. So um, yeah, major, major win for President Biden. Put this, remember it, because when you or your loved ones are able to breathe the air or when you or your loved ones can afford grandma to have the insulin she needs, um, you can thank the Democrats and you can thank Joe Biden. And not one Republican voted for this. And what's wrong with them? Um, this is what matters. The issues that matter to Americans. And this is going to help. You know, if you're paying less for your energy costs, which you will once they get this infrastructure built and going, that's going to save you money in the long run. So yeah, you, it may not happen tomorrow, but you're going to see a difference in your lives. And it's, it's, it is a landmark bill as far as climate change. And it is a landmark bill. You know how long Democrats have been working to get these caps on prescription drugs for seniors? A long, 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 long time. I want to say longer than I've been alive, but... I've been alive a long time. This is what's important in our lives. Having a little money at the end of the month. And Joe Biden is doing a fantastic job doing this. Gas prices have gone down because of some of the things he's done. And there are a couple of other things that he's done that I'm going to talk about in the next podcast. But I wanted to get this one out. I wanted to do this all weekend. I was sucked into the vortex of my my grandchildren, and I was unable to post this, but it is Monday, and everyone's talking about Trump, and I wanted to do this because this is an issue, this is policy, and this is important, and this will make a difference in our lives. Um, I've wanted solar panels, but it's expensive. It's really expensive over the long term and I keep saying, okay, I'm gonna do it like next year, but maybe I'll be able to do it now. I'm not sure. I you know, don't know how long I'm gonna live in this house uh, because I'm in a wheelchair and I, um, it's a two-story house and I can, I can still walk, but um, my bone's really fragile. So that's a whole nother story. I'm Gloria Moraga, I'm a political woman and I vote. This is my podcast. This is the video of my podcast. 
which I'm doing now. Um, it is Monday. And I just ask you to read, listen, be smart, vote. And, oh, I was going to say this little thing. Have you ever had a boyfriend or girlfriend or loved one? It was just a drama queen, drama king, just always, everything, every day is a big. I feel that way about the Republicans and, and Trump. I feel like every day there's a drama, a crisis. You know, you're always scared. I, I am for people. I mean, I don't want FBI agents to be hurt. Uh, people are a little crazy. Um... So it's just so much. It's just so overwhelming all the time that I, I wanted to do this podcast. I want to talk about what's important to people and what's important in America is our health care costs. It's ridiculous what we pay for health care here. But this is where we're at. Be safe. Please vote. And I'll see you soon.